Uh, good morning, class. Mr. Bean here, uh, AP Physics. Uh, this will be uh, lab two, uh, measuring acceleration. This will be a virtual lab here. And you should have this document out here and make sure you read about it. Uh, that's my midpoint in time and so on and so forth. So we'll go ahead and click on begin here. And here we have a car here. And it's going to go through these two photo gates. And the photo gate has a laser. So when this card enters the photo gate here, it breaks the laser, which starts the timer. And then when the car exits the uh, photo gate, the, uh, the laser re-initiates and the clock stops. So first thing it says, uh, let's go ahead and record. Now this is from uh, uh, last night. Let me get rid of some of this stuff here. This here, and this here. All right, so what we're going to do is uh, we'll go ahead and click on here. And this is the length of the index card. So make sure we measure this. Uh, notice here it says centimeters. Make sure that we are in meters when we put it in here. Okay, and we're going to record that. And uh, we're ready to go. We'll hit the start button here. And uh, hold on. Here, uh, we'll click on uh, start and press on the gas pedal. And the car moves uh, through the photo gate here and gives us a time. And good. And, okay. So, what we'll do, we'll go ahead and hit uh, stop the data. Okay. So, what we're going to do now is uh, this is when it enters the gate, this is when it exits the gate. So, this is the first photo gate here. Notice there's two different times. They should go here and here. And we have to find the difference in time. And same thing over here. This is uh, when it enters the photo gate number uh, two and when it uh, exits photo gate number two. Okay. So from here, we should be able to uh, find the average velocity. That's going to be the size of the index card. And we want to take the delta t. Th these two difference, the difference in time here would go here and we would calculate average velocity. And for average gate number two, we would take the index card size here, uh, get delta T here, and that would go here, and we would have average velocity through gate one, average velocity through gate two. Now, to determine acceleration, that's the change in velocity. So that would be the velocity through gate two minus velocity through gate one, divided by the change in midtime. Change in midtime. We want to go ahead and kind of read about what midtime is here. Okay, uh, it says uh, midtime is a time when the car is at the average velocity for the gate. It happens at the exact midpoint in time between the gate being blocked and unblocked. Okay, so uh, what we could do here for midtime here for for gate number one, we could add these two together, divide by two, and that would go here. Add these two together, divide by two, and that would go here. And then uh, we're basically done. Uh, we'll click here to uh, enter your answer, and then hopefully you'll stay successful and copy and paste, and that is it. All right. Go ahead and stop the recording.